I have been having so much fun building the game portion of my gamified task manager that I forgot a very important detail. Let's see, what is it? What is it? Um, oh, right. <laughs> the task manager. Ugh. That doesn't look so great. I started this project because I wanted to make improvements to other gamified task managers that I had used before. But as I started watching game devlogs and videos of people playing uh, early access indie games, I was started to get a bit off track. After every video, I'd be like, ooh, I like that mechanic. I should put that in my game. One of these games reminded me of an older game that I had played called Forager. Uh, it's been years since I played it but I really liked how that game had resources generating and you were able to build a base. And I thought, oh, maybe I could build a forager type game and weave the task management side into it. I came across a game that was a deck builder. Uh, you had a bunch of resources as cards in a deck and you could play these resources on your turn and gain money from these resources and things like that. I thought that would be cool to have some sort of deck building aspect to the game. I was also reminded of a game that I played when I used to have an old Palm Pilot. That was a little it was a game called Space War, and you had a ship, and you were trying to guess where your enemy was going to move so that you could shoot there. Uh, it was a turn-based type of combat system, and I thought, wow, it would be awesome if I could have a combat system inside the game. I mentioned in previous devlogs that this is going to be set on a series of uh, sky islands and you're going to have an airship, so I thought, well, maybe there could be pirates that attack your ship and then we could use this combat system. As I was making all these grand plans for a game, I realized, wait, this is supposed to be a task manager. I wrote up what I was thinking for this grand game and I sent it to a few of my close friends. I also sent it to a Discord server of other game developers that I'm in. The general feedback that I got was very positive. They thought that this was sounded like a great game to play. It'd be a super fun life sim. However, it would be great if it were a standalone game and not also trying to be a productivity app. The game sounded so fun and there was so much to do in the game that they felt it would be a big distraction from the main purpose of the app, which was to get real world tasks done. So I put those ideas aside. Perhaps I'll make that into a game someday, but the focus of this project is not to make the best life sim game. It's to make a useful productivity app that helps you to get your real world tasks done. And the game can't be a distraction from that. I thought about what got me started on this project in the first place, and it was to take those gamified task managers that I'd used and make improvements upon them. With the help of those same close friends that I asked before, I came up with a list of things that I thought were good about those gamified task managers, what made them fun, and also the things that they fell short in. Those games had a really strong task management element to them, and they also had things like customization for your character. Those things are what made it a lot of fun, but the thing that it, they usually lacked was some sort of interactivity. There was no feeling of actually getting to play a game, getting to advance a story. I took a look at the initial notes that I made when I started this project, and that's what I found was a more robust task manager with some gameplay elements added to it. And I thought, huh, I should build that game. That sounds fun. I now had all this feedback and all these notes that I had in, in various places and I wanted to have a central location where I could organize my thoughts, organize this game, make a, make a solid plan. So I took all this feedback and all these notes that I had and I condensed them and simplified them into a single game design document. If you're finding this devlog interesting and would like to be notified of future devlogs, please subscribe to the channel. It really helps me to know if people are enjoying these. It also helps people, other people, to be able to find them in the future. So thank you so much for doing that. So here is my central game design document. I wanted to focus on the task manager because that's the primary purpose of this app. So I wanted to make sure to get that the features of the task manager worked out first. So the tasks themselves are going to have things like being able to add a title, notes, there's going to be a difficulty and that will play into what you receive when you complete tasks in the game portion. You can have due dates, you can have a start date and the date you want to start working on something. 
can have different steps and subtasks. You can group tasks together in projects. You can also uh, categorize them using tags and then also be able to assign tasks to complete the requirements of different quests and also uh, the requirements for a crafting station. I'll talk about that in just a second. But here's kind of an idea of what I want the task manager to look like. You, you should be able to see the tasks that you have set out uh, for the day, but you can also filter this list based on project or tag. So you can have different views of, of the different tasks that you have. I also wanted there to be a concept of a highlight or like the most important task that you want to get done that day. And you get that task done before anything else. And if you get that task done, then the everything else you get done that day is just icing on the cake. That way you get that feeling of fulfillment that you accomplished something and everything else is just add on to that. In other gamified task managers, completing a task gives you in-game currency. I wanted there to be uh, more of a challenge of getting this in-game currency. I wanted you to get resources when you complete a task. I'm kind of borrowing that deck building mechanic that I saw in that other game because I thought that was interesting and fascinating and kind of ties tasks and resources together because they're both in cards. So completing a task will give you a resource card like wood or iron, something like that. Your highlight, if you get your highlight done, you get two resource cards. Which resource cards you receive are based on what class of character that you choose at the beginning. A lot of Fantasy games will allow you to choose a class like a warrior or a wizard. I wanted there to be classes in this game too, but I wanted it to be a little different. The classes that you can choose uh, that I've kind of been thinking about are chef or farmer, archaeologist, librarian, and these, depending on which class you choose, determines which resource cards you receive and the different uh, items that you can craft and sell to NPCs in the game. I'm keeping the idea of the, you being an airship pilot that is running like a delivery service. And so once again, depending on what character or character class you choose will determine what resource cards you receive and what items you can craft and, sh and, and sell. You craft different items to sell at different crafting stations. You put your resource cards into the crafting station as well as a some sort of task. And the item gets crafted once you've completed the task that you've assigned to the crafting station. This way it continues to motivate you to get your tasks completed complete beyond just getting more resource cards, it actually is a requirement to craft items. You will have a home island that you operate out of. This is where your crafting stations will be, where you'll have your house, and the in-game currency that you earn from selling items to NPCs and, and fulfilling deliveries will allow you to build furniture and purchase clothing items and purchase pets. There will be different islands that you can visit that have different purposes. There will be a marketplace island where you can purchase these furniture items, and clothing items, and pets. You can also receive quests from NPCs from any of these islands that you visit. And these quests will usually be, I need a hammer or something like that. And you go and you craft that item and then you come back and you deliver it to them. There will be a concept of needing fuel for your airship. So there will be fuel stations on islands and you have to use your in-game currency to purchase fuel. If you don't have enough fuel to fulfill your deliveries, you can hire other airship pilots to deliver these things for you, but you won't get as much in-game currency as a result. You'll get docked a certain amount of pay because you have to pay the, the other airship pilot to deliver things for you. You'll be able to visit the homes of other residents of, of these NPCs that you are interacting with. You'll be able to visit their homes on, on those islands, and once again, you can get more quests from these NPCs and and interact with them. And there will be some sort of a, a, a story underlying all of this. I haven't worked out what that story will be yet, uh, but the general idea is that you inherit this airship delivery business from a long lost relative, you know, the usual life sim type of thing, <laughs> getting a farm or something from a from a relative and you have to rebuild this this delivery service and as you interact with NPCs a, a story will unfold once again I need to flesh that story out but I want there to be that element to it so that there's it's interesting and you and you're motivated to go and talk to NPCs and, and, and learn what this story is so this is my plan for now I feel like 
It does have a lot better balance between the task manager and the game. Luckily, everything that I've done on the game so far, I don't have to throw away. I can keep it. Uh, there's nothing about this that's going to require me to throw anything out that I've already done. And now that I have a more solid plan in place in a central location, it'll be a lot easier for me to be able to get a, pr a working prototype of this out for people to start testing and to validate if what I've got here is a useful productivity app or a big distracting game. Thank you so much for watching to the end. If you would like to see previous devlogs, you can go ahead and click on this playlist. Once again, if you're enjoying these and would like to be notified of future devlogs, please subscribe. Thank you so much once again, and I'll see you in the next one.